Hi, welcome to my channel. Thanks to Who's Matt for this GitHub link where you can modify the firmware on your UV5R. We're going to show you how to do that. So the radio's there. It has been modified. You can see the screen's different and we've got some different icons there. First thing we need to do is turn it off and put it into firmware mode. So you turn off the power, hold your finger on the PTT, turn on, and when it's in firmware update mode, you can see that there's a light on. Next thing you do is look here at this page here. You can download all the software you need on the top right here. It says download update a software, which I've already done. And when you click download, it will uh, show up here. You'll get your USB drive, everything you might need. Anyway, next thing is to create the patch firmware. Looking at this list here on the left, I've ticked all these boxes to update the different kinds of firmware. I'm actually going to un untick the AMRX one because uh, I found that I didn't need that one. But anyway, look, battery icon, LCD contrast, font size, you've got disable frequency, copy timeout. Um, not really use that, but that's, I think that's when you put radios side by side and it copies. Double the backlight duration to 10 seconds. Well, that alone is worth it. Skip boot screen, boot screen, menu string here. Read this. I'll put the link in so you can read it. Increase mic gain. And then I've got negative display and I've got RSSI meter as well. So once you've decided that's what you want, and I'm sure more things will be added to this list, then you need to select the radio you've got. So I've got the UV5R and the drop down list here. Look, it does have one here for all radios. I'm just going to select UV5R and it does include the UVK5, K6, K8. And then click patch firmware. It's going to create the firmware, the new firmware specially made just for your radio, your UV5R ETC. Once, once you've done that, click Save Firmware. And it's come up with FW Modded 3 Bin, which is the firmware. Next thing we do is to install that to our device. We know we're in firmware mode already. We just, using the program's download that we've been given within the software when we clicked up here, we double click the patching software or just the firmware updater. Here it is here. And we want to see our device manager to know what COM port to use. So let's find that. Device manager, COM11. So you just right, you just go right click device manager. And then it would be ports, COM11. Once you've got that, go back to your firmware updater. Select COM11. Click connect. Uh, there's an error which means it thinks we're not in connection mode or it could be that I've got two lots running. <laughs> so let's close one down. Because one did work. There you are look. Close that one down. We've got this one here. It says disconnect, connect. That's better. Uh, now we'll choose the modded firmware that I just made for my radio, which is this one here called three and it will automatically find that. And then we'll, once it's found it will click here. Now it's not letting me do it. If it doesn't let you do it there's something wrong. Let's try it again. Let's disconnect, close it down completely. Then we'll double click the program again. Yes, 11, connect. We're connected, we'll select the firmware, which is the firmware, this one here. And it won't let me put it in this time, but it did let me put it in before. So let's just try again here, UV5R. Patch firmware, it patches it. Then you save it, it's now become number four. Then we'll select the software again. Yes. 11, let's just check the COM port hasn't changed. Device manager. Definitely 11. Connect. Select the firmware, number four. Language. It's not letting me do it this time, but it definitely let me do it earlier. Let me try that, the earlier firmware. Let's try that, which was number one. What we could do is try and put it in firmware mode again and reconnect that. So I'll do that. I'll turn it off. Unplug the USB. Plug it back in. Finger on PTT. Turn it on. Firmware mode. Disconnect, then we'll 
connect again, choose the firmware, double click. Ah, this time it's letting me do it, and then click here. So there you are, a bit of perseverance. And we're now going to have the new firmware. And I'll just show you at the end of the video what that looks like. So with the firmware running on the UV5R, the modified firmware, which we wasn't sure if you could do that. Let's press uh, up and down. Got VFO F. Channel mode. Channel mode. You can see we've selected a reverse screen there. Then we go F VFO. M0 FXB. We've got the modified signal display, signal meter display. We've got a 10 second timeout as well. Good menu. Everything's working fine. So you can modify the, the firmware on the UV5R made by Cushing. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. 7 3. And all the links to modify the firmware and the video will be in the description.